our turn. Uh, to make this a little brief, got to get to Las Vegas, Vegas tonight. No, uh, John, how do you think today's mainstream media would treat Abraham Lincoln if he was our current president? <laughs> oh, that's a good well, I mean, it's a great question. Look, his, his media hated him. He was disrespected widely. I don't think he probably would have been elected right now. He told a lot of jokes that were deeply inappropriate. People got pissed off at him. But that was a tool, right? He spoke in parables. He was trying to reach people where they were. Um, I, you know, Lincoln was a huge consumer of media. He was obsessed with newspapers. But he got a lot of grief, and we forget that. You know, we forget how, much pe how many people hated Lincoln at the time. He did the difficult things, and, and we could still learn a hell of a lot. How tall was he? 6'4". In, in that year, that must have oh, been almost like being a seven-footer. Yeah. Right? And he wore, was... and he wore a stovepipe hat to highlight it, too. He hung a lantern on it. Right. Uh... Yeah. Well, that probably would have got him elected, just that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't they always but, go for the but, tall guy? You know what's weird? I kept finding in my book, people kept on commenting when they met Lincoln. They kept saying, he's the ugliest man I ever met. <laughs> they kept saying it. It's terrible. But then when he started speaking and telling stories, and, and connecting with people emotionally, something beautiful happened. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, how has the uh, successful school board recall bolstered the... Uh, am I... Boudin, right? Is that how you pronounce mm. that name? Yes. Ch 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 Chesa? Chesa. Chesa Boudin. That, now, that's who we're talking about. That's the DA yes. in San Francisco. How has the... Oh, okay. So how has the board recall affected that? Is, I guess, uh, the question. I don't know what this question is. In my is. view, it's given, it, it's, you know, we just uh, passed a school board recall. Um, we recalled three members of the yeah. Board of Education in San Francisco. And I think it's shown uh, the prevailing of common sense and core values over radicalism. Uh, they were more worried about renaming schools than making sure that the children returned back to in person learning. And so I think parents and residents of San Francisco have said, look, these, these radical, extreme ideas are, are not going to work for us anymore. What do you think about the masks with the kids? I mean, is it, is it not time to chuck that? Having a, a, a five-year-old in school right now, um, I would like to see them go. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. But they don't need them. Kids, I mean, kids are the least... Least vulnerable. And, I, I mean, to make these little children into, into Howie Mandel's is what you're doing. <laughs> no, it's true. You're creating a generation of Howie Mandel's, of little germ paranoid munchkins. It's just, it's, 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 oh it, it is, it is, it's so ridiculous. It's, it's been like, it's, it's a huge chunk of their lives. I mean, we've got yeah. young kids. I but mean, it's, it's, especially when they are young. I mean, yeah. that's the first thing they remember, and it's going to get imprinted on them. And it's just, I mean, kids are gross to begin with. You've got to let them be gross. <laughs> what? Right? Maybe they think and it's an not, adult and thing germs and they are not, they need also to get germs in their body. Of course, there are ones you can't a get in your... Point. Yeah, yeah. You know, point. what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it's look, true. I mean, what are the reasons you, the whole vaccine is so It's how you so get stupid. healthy, is you live in the world with the... You yeah. Can't, you can't live in the world by getting rid of all germs or of course not. avoiding them. Of course not. It's but, insane. But, but it's also the reason we, we've been taking... I mean, the vaccine debates are so incredibly dumb because we've been doing mandatory vaccines for public school kids forever, for polio. This is not any different. It's just what we need to deal with. Well, it could be different if, the, if they are less vulnerable to it. Uh, the kids are vulnerable to polio. They're not that vulnerable to this one. That's been true from the beginning. Of course, anybody can get anything at any time. That's possible. But we always have to go by the numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, because i got to leave. Uh, oh, Katrina, you mentioned on Twitter that you were interned for P.J. O'Rourke. P.J. O'Rourke, oh. one of my faves, uh, died this week. So, um... Frequent guest on this show. PJ uh, was what's one of lovely. your most favorite memories? I hope you have great memories. I do have I great memories. No, <laughs> I, I went. I, I, I was me too no. ten times. No, no. I do, well, no. Uh, not. But no, no. I mean, I uh, was an intern at the at National Lampoon. And they were nice. He was great, and great. we did the high school yearbook <laughs> together, and then we did a mock. You'll like this. We did a mock issue of High Times, which is buried somewhere. I want to find that. But he I took a very important role. High Times was a mock issue he of High Times. He took a very important role. It was like Higher Times. <laughs> okay. He was but great. he was a wonderful... He was great. Love he was great. P.J. Rock was great. I mean, I've said this many times publicly on this show and anywhere else to anybody who will listen. Uh, P.J. does not get the credit he deserves for establishing an entire brand of yeah, humor. It was more than just what he did. When he edited that National Lampoon, yeah. 
The National Lampoon became Saturday Night Live. It did. Okay? There's a whole way of doing comedy that really sprung from guys like P.J. O'Rourke and prominently P.J. O'Rourke. He was one of my faves. Anyway, thank you, folks. Thank you, folks.